That should be enough to blast the vein wide open. And do it. Montoya wants his gold, and you're weak leader already, Sergeant. <sighs> Captain, the men I have are all sick. And it's your lucky day. More volunteers. More excuses, Sergeant. Yes, Capitan. for a mouth. <laughs> Where's the supply ship? Late. I'm tired of beef for breakfast, beef for lunch. <laughs> There's always corn. No fruit, no spices. <sighs> Wait. Mm. I beg your pardon? Mine. Mm. Was it? We could share. Didn't think so. You could at least have asked me first. But then I'd have had to introduce myself and exchange pleasantries. That would have taken far too long. So why not just grab it? I was hungry. I, I still am very hungry. And obviously, being a woman of wealth and privilege, you wouldn't know what that feels like. Ah, Dr. Helm, you've arrived. You're a doctor? We rode all the way from Texas just to steal your app. We have been awaiting your arrival with great impatience. I see you've already met Senorita Alvarado. And now, Doctor, uh, allow me to show you around our humble pueblo. Senorita? Who was that? He calls himself a doctor. I thought he was the most ill-mannered, foul-smelling, arrogant. Don't tell me you've run out of insults. Mm, tarantula. Ah, a tarantula with teeth white as pearls, broad shoulders, blue eyes, green eyes. Marta! I'm sorry to disturb you, senorita. I will come back. No, wait, Luisa. What's wrong? Torlio, my husband, he was taken yesterday Just by try soldiers. Try to calm yourself. The soldiers wanted to question him about stolen cattle. But I know Torlio. He's not a thief. I waited all night, but he did not come home. This morning, I went to the jail. And? 
They said they'd already let him go. He must be on his way home. Then. No, senorita. He has disappeared. And I'm very frightened for him. Disappeared? Colonel, I'm only concerned because my people are gossiping when they should be working. Perhaps your people need a firmer hand. You're right. Maybe because I'm not a man, they take advantage of me. Senorita, I am in the middle of some business. One of my workers is convinced that once men enter your jail, they're never heard from again. Disappearing husbands are nothing new. You know, Senorita, many a man discovers, alas, too late, that he has made an error in his choice of life companion. Enter! Senorita? Captain? Senorita was just leaving. I was? Regretted me. About Torrio. Be careful, Maria Teresa. If one so beautiful as you were to disappear, it would break my heart. Don't worry, Colonel. I have no intention of disappearing. You are still behind schedule. I have another excuse. Yet another example of your own incompetence. We are behind schedule because the men are right. You might fly. Look. A few dozen soldiers, some horses, a small pueblo. It's insignificant, really. Do you have any idea what it takes to build an empire? Gold. And? Armies. And? Armies. And cannon. Just like the ones which are coming on a supply ship, right here. And all they ask of me in payment are a few nuggets of gold, which are where? Exactly. That's right. They're still in the mine. I push the men, and the men drop. So we grab more men now. How long before the Queen of Swords finds out? Hmm? Of course the Queen of Swords will come. We will make sure of it. You don't look married, Dr. Helm. It wasn't the way marriage had a look. Yes. And sadly, it doesn't look like you. So, what brought you to California, Doctor? Adventure. A man like you will find adventure anywhere he went. My battle! The dawns are waiting. A welcoming gift. Wine from Rioja. Thank you very much. My wife is lovely, isn't she, Doctor? <laughs> Perhaps soon you'll find one of your own. the arm, soldier. You keep that dressing dry. Nicely done, Doctor. You are an angel of mercy. A moment of your time. I still have two to see. Before you came, they had to lick their wounds clean. I'm sure they will not mind having to wait another minute or two. Hypothetically speaking, Doctor, what if several men working in confined conditions, suddenly became ill, unable to work. Why are they confined? That is unimportant. 
The symptoms are all the same. Trouble breathing, fainting sometimes. Perhaps they are being worked to exhaustion. No, 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 of course not. Hypothetically speaking, would there be a medicine you could prescribe? Well, I would prescribe that you take them out of the place they're working. And if that were not possible, surely there must be some medicine, no? If these men are truly sick, hypothetically speaking, then I should see them. And sooner rather than later. Perhaps. But now, Doctor, you have more pressing matters to attend to. That's where I go. Offering me a percentage of the mine. <laughs> you surprise me, Hidalgo. I'm a quiet man. But I know things. Mine is only a small part of what I'm talking about. But what I need. It's coffee. <laughs> you need to relax a bit. You are always so tense. You know? You're right. It is what you have that I don't. You have this marvelous ability to, to relax and enjoy life. It's what draws people to you. And this is why you have maintained your, your great influence over the other dons. Yes, that's true. I tell them to be calm even though the men are disappearing. One day soon, the colonel will solve the mystery to all our benefit. Of the foot. 
looks. Look at the stitching, huh? And the cloth. It's the finest silk. No peasant made this. She was a Spaniard, just as you thought. The skin of the fox is one thing. The fox itself is another thing entirely. No, she couldn't have survived that fall. No. Not without sustaining a few broken bones. Not to mention her wound. The party tonight. In honor of the good doctor. No Spaniard would dare to refuse my invitation unless, of course... Unless, of course, they were badly injured. Marta, I've been looking for Tessa all day. If you have a message. Oh, all right then. You can't tell her she's dead. The Queen of Swords is dead. She was shot. Then she threw herself off a cliff. Her body shattered on the rocks below and was swallowed by the ocean. No. Yes, it's true. The Capitan told me himself. He was very proud, and I think the coroner will throw a ball to celebrate. Sorry, I can't be late. And Marta, I know you make the senorita's dresses. They are exquisite. I must have one. I will come round tomorrow morning and show you the brocades. You were dead. There was no way to warn you, Marta. I needed them to think I was dead. Forgive me. You're hurt. It's nothing. A scratch. <sighs> Going just to the left, and you'd be dead. How are your ribs? Fine. Marta, it's getting late. Lace me for the party, please. You can't go. Make some excuse. It's what Montoya will be waiting for. Look at you. You are dead on your feet. If you pass out at the party, you will give Montoya what he's waiting for. Marta, men are disappearing. Maybe dying. I must find out what I can. Please, help me dress. This is going to hurt. I need 
that gold before the supply ship docks. No gold, no artillery. Sick men can't work. Make it happen, Grisham. Or I will make you dig that gold out with your own bare hands. Come on. Dr. Hal. You know, it's the boorish guest who arrives late for his own party. And it's the poor host who points this out. Quite correct, Doctor. I must apologize. It is not you. It is this Thor in my side, the Queen of Swords. Ah, uh, yes, I understand she's quite the local hero. She's a vigilante, Doctor. She steals my gold in the name of the people, and she keeps everything for herself. And she leaves as many dead in her wake as Napoleon. You don't look well. The wine doesn't agree with me this evening. Smile anyway. You would do well to look ravish and at a party where, who knows, you might meet that certain caballero. <laughs> a slight chill in the air. A wound is bleeding through your dress. That's a soldier from the beach. Lovely in that dress. Grisham. You leave that fool to search for the Queen of Swords. He's here. Secure the entrance. Let no one escape. We have her. And this time we shall keep her. Please, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that someone at our celebration has suffered an injury. Fortunately, we have our new doctor at hand. Thank you. Come, doctor. We'll treat your wound in a gentle and gracious fashion. What the hell's going on? The Queen of Swords is here. She is wounded and concealing it. <laughs> this is absurd. If I announce that she's here, there'll be violence. Play along with me, doctor. We don't want to see any innocents hurt. I gather that uh, modesty is preventing the injured party from stepping forward. From which I would conclude that it is a woman. Come, ladies. Surely your husbands cannot object to another man's hands being upon you if he is a doctor. <laughs> so, Doña Cecilia will be first. A little relaxing music for the ladies. La Contradanza. Please, Doctor, an injured woman needs your attention. Signora. Let me apologize for this rather abrupt method of introduction. Signora Hidalgo. i 
Alvarado, I believe you on it. Please, I beg Mother. forgiveness. You. I know servants aren't allowed to drink, but Coronel, the evening was so lovely. I wanted wine. Come with me. I do not see the need. As I said before, I am the doctor. Senorita, your servant would not want you to be worrying about her son. I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about me. We'll do my laundry. Come. You dance before you go. Okay, that should stop the bleeding. I'm sorry to be so much trouble. That's all right. I never did much care for parties, especially those given in my honor. of a doctor. So much blood. So much death. Is she all right, doctor? Rebandage every two days. See you next week. Are you in pain? It's nothing. It's you we must worry about. Marta? Marta, you shouldn't be doing that. Let me go away. Look at this. Do you see what you've done? It will never come out. Please, Marta. You shouldn't be using your hand. We're not in Spain anymore. We can't just order more fabric and call for a tailor. Could at least be more careful. Marta. First, I thought you were dead. I thought I would lose you again last night. There you are, Senorita Alvarado. Did Marta tell you? She's making my dress. I hope you won't mind. Oh dear, how painful that must be. This has been the worst day. And it's only 10 o'clock. We don't have any coffee, but... I've had a headache since six. You were right about the wine. Then, at breakfast, I discovered two of my best grooms wearing a bra and dragged us to prison. And my husband is furious. Your girls? Well, I'm sure they'll be released. No, I won't see them for a while. I'm sure they've been taken to the mines. But why would they need grooms in a mine? Exactly what I say. But what do I know of these things? Dr. Helm. I need you. I'm afraid this is not exactly a good time. I'm sorry to be so abrupt, but I need you now. I'm busy. Are you too busy to tend to the sick and the dying? I gather the hypothetically sick have suddenly become real? It is a military matter, and I am sure you understand the need for discretion. Oh, I'm beginning to understand many things, Colonel. Good. My men will escort you. Get up! Hmm, so much has changed in California since you were a little girl. <sighs> it seems that way. 
But you're settled now, back to your father's hacienda. At least the hills and the ocean haven't changed. Mm, we are most fortunate. Please, don't need algo. Let me. When I was a child, I used to ride in these hills. We'd play hide and seek up and down the valley. I remember old water wells, and weren't there abandoned mines, too? I don't recall. Well, you must. There were dozens of them near quarry and by the old riverbed. Stay away from the riverbed. Those mines were dangerous then, and they are dangerous now. Pardon me, Don Hidalgo. Maria Teresa, here, curiosity is not a virtue. Luisa? Luisa. The soldiers found his body in the hills. They say he fell. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I have to wash this for his burial. They are his best clothes. How will God receive you, Tarlio? <laughs> How will he receive you? <laughs> Poison. The longer they work, the worse they'll become. They only work 12 hours at a time. The only way to save these men is to keep them out of the mine. Tell that to Colonel Montoya. How can he possibly justify that? Because the Colonel says there is no mine, no gold, <coughs> no men. That is how he justifies it. Sergeant, Corporal Pedro's hat. Captain Grisham said she might be coming. Who might be coming? Bring me three men. On second thought, make it six. You. Come on. You too. We don't have all day. You over there. Move it. Over you. There. Come with me. Come. Come on. That's it. Move. Can any of you move? You're dead. What the hell do you think you're doing? Queen of Swords! You have ten seconds! Seven seconds! Show yourself, or I blow his brains out! This is barbaric. If you think that I... You're mad! I have all the time and the men I need! Three seconds, Queen! Two! One! Stop! You waited long enough! I wasn't sure you could count! Hands in the air! Or this man dies! Go get her! <clears throat> Such a pretty neck. Get word to Captain Grisham. He will want to slit it himself. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> these men get fresh air and water, they will be no good to anyone. All right. Give the prisoners some water and some rest. Good. Go. The queen. The queen can't be much help to you now, huh? They're going to kill the queen! We are finished! Let's see who she is. Captain Grisham would rip out your heart if you saw her before he did. She's bleeding. 
You can't go near her. She is a prisoner. You want her alive for Captain Grisham, don't you? Don't tell me that I frighten you, too. Good afternoon, Colonel. Today is the anniversary of my father's death. I never let that special day pass without celebrating. To find such exaltation in death is a rare gift, Colonel. Colonel, we have the Queen. See, Senora, you should never underestimate the power of prayer. Don't bother. I have to stop the bleeding. So that Grisham and Montoya can kill me later? That's enough. Quiet. No. So that I can do this. The rest is up to you. At last! Sergeant, take it. Congratulations. You found me. Take some time to talk! <laughs> 